This story is completely fiction and has no resemblance with reality. The names, character mentioned are also fictional so kindly please don't watch it if it offends you. Manik Malhotra, the CEO of Malhotra Industries, was getting ready for his marriage with Nandini Kapoor. He hadn't seen his bride as for him, this marriage if just for his business deal. For him this marriage meant nothing. As Manik buttoned up his crisp white shirt, he got a call from Ayan his cousin. He sighed as he hadn't informed his family about the marriage, knowing that they would only be happy for him if it was for love. But for Manik, love was just a word, a fleeting emotion that he had no time for. Manik you have you freaking lost your mind? You are getting married and you haven't informed us dot you're marrying a woman you have never even met before just for a business deal? Ayan said, his voice laced with concern. What's the big deal, Ayan? It's just a business deal, Manik replied with a shrug, not bothering to hide the lack of enthusiasm in his voice. Just a business deal? Ayan exclaimed incredulously. You getting married, Manik? This is a big deal. You can't just treat it like it's some fucking business deal. Manik sighed heavily, running a hand through his hair. He knew Ayan was right, but he couldn't bring himself to care. He had never been interested in finding love or settling down. He was content with his life the way it was fast-paced, demanding, and focused solely on his career. I know, Ayan. I know, Manik said resignedly. But this is what needs to be done. It's good for the business, and that's all that matters. I just don't want you to make a mistake, Manik. Marriage is a big commitment, and you shouldn't take it lightly. Manik rolled his eyes, not wanting to continue the conversation any longer. I know what I'm doing, Ayan. I have to leave for the marriage. He hung up the phone before Ayan could respond, not wanting to hear any more of his cousin's lecturing. He grabbed his suit and went down where Kapoor's was standing. The priest started saying the woes and called the bride. Nandini came down covered in a red heavy lehenga, her face covered with a veil. As Nandini stood beside him, he could feel that she was nervous but he didn't look at her he didn't to give her the wrong impression that this was anything more than a business deal. I'm skipping the marriage rituals. After completing all the rituals Manik and Mr. Kapoor signed the deal and Manik took Nandini to his penthouse. Nanini was sitting decked in her bridal lehenga. She was married to Manik Malhotra as her father's and Manik's company has signed a deal. She knew this marriage was just a deal for Manik as he had already cleared about it. She didn't want to marry him but she was forced by her father. As she sat there, her mind drifted back to the events leading up to this moment. How her father had made it clear that this marriage was non-negotiable. How she had begged and pleaded with him, but he had been unyielding. In the end, she had no choice but to acquiesce. At last she agreed as she had understood that she didn't deserve any happiness and was just a pawn for her father. Manik entered the room, dressed in a traditional Sherwani. He looked at Nandini his eyes scanning her from top to bottom. He had to admit, she looked stunning. But he didn't want to develop any feelings for her as for him. This was just a business deal, nothing more. He had made it clear to her from the start that he had no intentions of falling in love or being romantic with her. He silently went inside as he had packed his bags for a business trip to London with Mr. Kapoor. As he finished packing, Manik turned to her and said, I will be gone for a week. I have kept my cards here, you can use it. 
and the maid will be here to attend to your needs. Try to make yourself comfortable. Nandini nodded while Manik left for his meeting. Nandini sighed and went inside to change. She knew for Manik it was just a deal but she was happy that at least he wasn't cruel to her. In fact, he had been quite polite and considerate so far. But she couldn't shake off the feeling of sadness and hopelessness that had settled in her heart. She had always dreamt of finding true love and having a partner who would love and cherish her. But that dream seemed farther away than ever before. As she changed into a more comfortable attire, Nandini decided to explore the house. She wandered through the spacious rooms, admiring the elegant decor and the beautiful paintings that adorned the walls. She came across a frame which looked like a family photo. She wondered why Manik's family wasn't there in their wedding. At the same time the maid came and greeted Nandini. The maid hesitated for a moment before speaking again. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. Mr. Malhotra can be a bit intense at times. But please don't let that bother you. We're all here to make sure you're comfortable. Nandini raised an eyebrow, wondering what the maid could possibly mean by intense. But before she could ask any questions, the maid had already left the room. Sighing, Nandini looked around the luxurious bedroom. She couldn't deny that it was impressive, with its king-sized bed, marble floors, and floor-to-ceiling windows that offered a stunning view of the city skyline. But somehow, it didn't feel like home. It felt like a gilded cage a prison where she was trapped for the rest of her life. She sat down on the edge of the bed, her mind racing with all kinds of thoughts. Was this what her life was going to be like now? Trapped in a loveless marriage with a man who didn't want to marry her. Just then, she heard a knock at the door. It was the maid again, holding a tray with a glass of water and a plate of fruit. I thought you might be hungry, the maid said with a kind smile. Thank you, Nandini said, taking the tray. After the maid left, Nandini went to her room to sleep. How the first CHP? Will the dynamics between Manik and Nandini change?